Hello, this is Jack Kirby with Vista Solutions, and today we're going to talk about an introduction to Odoo manufacturing. Uh, we're going to go through a quick introduction. We're going to talk about the questions for managers that we're going to try to answer. We're going to go through a workflow diagram of Odoo manufacturing, and then we're going to walk through an actual Odoo example and do a little bit of analysis based on the questions that we asked. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and start. Um, Often when people look at the manufacturing functionality of Odoo, um, they're really trying to answer some key questions that are going to help improve their business. So some of the questions that a manager might need to answer using the workflows in Odoo are, do I have the materials to produce? If I don't, when will I get those materials and how? How much is it going to cost to produce a finished good? What are my margins on the finished goods that I produce? Are there bottlenecks at operations within my system? And how do I identify them? How much can I produce? What is the capacity on a given product or product line? And can I analyze this data to be able to produce more profitably? And the nice thing is, is that Odoo provides tools to be able to do, to answer all of these questions and to better manage your manufacturing operations if you understand how to set up Odoo in the right way and how to analyze the results correctly. So before we jump into an actual Odoo example, we're going to go through the workflow of Odoo. Um, and this is a, a key place that uh, people really often forget to cover of exactly how does one object in Odoo flow to the next. Okay, so I have a simple workflow diagram for a manufacturing company that does a make to order production. So they're going to produce only once they sell an order. So let's quickly run through. Uh, this is a you know standard swim chart. So I've got my CRM and sales. I've got my manufacturing. I've got procurement and inventory and I've got accounting. Okay, so typically a customer will call um, and you'll generate an opportunity or just generate a quotation based on that customer's preferences. You'll send that to the customer. The customer will approve that and Odoo will take that quotation and generate a sales order. Then that sales order is going to trigger two things. It's going to trigger a manufacturing order because we are make to order manufacturing. That's going to generate a component demand. We can check, Odoo will check if that's in stock. If it is in stock, we'll go ahead and pick it and move it to the pre-production location ready to be manufactured. If it's not in stock, we're going to create an RFQ, send it to the vendor, generate a PO, receive that into stock, and then also pick that and put that in pre-production. It's then going to go through uh, several work stations uh, to be able to assemble these, this product. We're going to put it in stock and then deliver it to the customer. And then after that, the sales order will be invoiced. It'll come down here to accounting to be invoiced, sent to the customer, customer will pay, and then if we need to, we can reconcile it. So let's take a quick look um, at uh, an actual um, Odoo database. So in this database, we are a company that produces two different types of smokers, barbecue smokers. We've got a 100 gallon smoker, and we've got a 250 gallon smoker. And we manufacture these products to order. Each of these has its own bill of materials. And that bill of materials has component parts. It has one subassembly. For example, this trailer mount needs to be subassembled. And it has various operations that it will go through. Okay, and you can see the cut, weld, assembly, and burn in are the same stations that we have here cut, weld, assembly, and burn in. Okay, so we're going to flow through that manufacturing. Okay, and then each of these products has uh, the, the raw materials that, that are used in order to manufacture them. Okay, we have those raw materials here. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's manufacture, let's sell a customer a uh, 100 gallon um, smoker. Okay, so I'm going to select a customer. Let's sell it to Franklin's Barbecue. We're going to use a standard price list. A uh, customer calls me up and says, hey, I want a 100-gallon um, offset smoker. Bam. So I select that offset smoker. Okay. 
I have my unit price, I have the estimated margin based on the um, bill of materials, and I have um, everything I need to be able to send Franklin that quote. Okay, so I'm going to send this by email, and I'm going to send him the quote. Okay, Franklin gets back to me, he says, yes, I love it, I want it, go ahead and make it for me. Okay, so I'm going to confirm that sales order. When I confirm this sales order, it's going to generate a few different objects. It's going to generate a manufacturing order that is linked to this sales order. Okay, so I can easily go to the manufacturing order straight from there. It's also going to go ahead and create the delivery slip that says we need to deliver this smoker. Unfortunately, I don't have this smoker ready right now. I have to manufacture it. So it is reserved and I have an expected date. Okay. So let's go back to my sales order and let's take a look at the manufacturing order. We have a bunch of materials that are needed, but not all of them are available. Okay, so we have uh, some trailer, the, the sub-assembly, I have an expected date on that, but everything else I need to order. Okay, so we can go in, this is, gets to one of our first questions, which is, do I have the materials? And the answer is, I have my 8-inch pipe. I am manufacturing my trailer mount, but I don't have any of the other materials, okay? So then the next question is, when am I going to get those materials? So I can go into um, purchase, and I can see that it, Odoo has generated several requests for quotation to my different parts suppliers, okay? So I can see that the source document is that manufacturing order that I created, and it's ordering exactly the number that I need in order to manufacture that one piece of equipment. And I can, in fact, see the manufacturing order that it was linked to. Okay, so let's go back to that purchase, Ace Hardware. Let's go ahead and uh, confirm. I'm going to receive those products in stock, validate that I received all of those products. Okay. And I'm just going to quickly do that for the other purchase orders. So now that I have uh, confirmed all of those purchase orders, I now have expected dates of when these individual products are going to arrive, okay, based on the purchase orders and the dates that are set on the purchase order. So to answer my second question, when will I receive the materials? By setting up the purchase order, I can get these expected dates of when these will be available in stock and when I can begin or uh, begin manufacturing for the whole product or begin manufacturing required for those individual components. I also, in this manufacturing order, am generating a child MO. This is a sub-assembly MO. Okay, and similarly, I have all of the, the expected dates that are going to be when these different components are going to be in. So uh, let's go ahead and go back to my um, purchase orders and let's just go ahead and receive these products in stock. Okay, we're going to say that we, we went ahead and got some of these products early. Okay, great. So all of those are now received into stock. And going back to my manufacturing order, I do have a transfer to complete. So this is a picking, sometimes called a kitting in manufacturing, is my uh, production team, my inventory man uh, warehouse team, has to go and grab all these products and move them into my pre-production location. So I can check availability. We see that, that all of these are now um, reserved. And I can go ahead and validate this. OK. So now those should all be ready. Uh, except for the trailer mount, which is the child manufacturing order. So let's first produce the trailer mount. Okay, let's make sure all these transfers are complete. Yep, I'm going to grab all of those products necessary for the trailer mount and put them into pre-production, and now they're ready to be consumed. So I'm going to plan, and I'm going to go ahead and start each of these um, operations. I'm going to saw, complete that. I'm going to torch complete that. I'm going to put it in the assembly line, complete that. And if I needed to edit my real durations, I could certainly do that. Okay. So this is going to be useful data capturing exactly how much the real time it takes um, for analysis later. Okay. So I'm going to mark that as done. And now that's available for my main manufacturing order. 
So let's go to the source manufacturing order. Now that that trailer mount is available, I can do the same thing. I can plan this, give it a serial number, and go through and complete my work orders. Again, this is a process that's going to take hours and hours for your production team, but the tracking is fairly straightforward. Okay? And let's just go ahead and put in some real durations so that our analysis is more correct. Mark is done. And now, because that product has been complete, um, it's moved back into stock. And now we can send it to the customer. So I'm going to go back to my sales order in delivery. I now see that this is reserved, this is ready to be sent, and I can send that and deliver that to the customer. And then finally, my favorite part, I can bill them, okay? And send them that bill and go through the payment process. How much does it cost to produce is a question that Odoo, once you create that manufacturing order, can answer pretty easily because when I go to my operations and my manufacturing orders, if I look at that manufacturing order, I can do a cost analysis right here, and I can see the total cost of components was $1,700 based on all of the purchase orders and the prices that those products came in on. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward. Um, what are my margins? Well, that depends on how much I sold it for. So on my sales order, I can go to this sales order. And right here at the bottom, I can see my margins. And in fact, I'm losing a little bit of money on this uh, 100 gallon smoker based on the materials that were used. Okay. What is my bottleneck? So this is a pretty um, uh, straightforward question that Odoo can answer with a little bit of analysis. So I'm going to go to a spreadsheet of product analysis that I created. And all I'm doing is I'm taking a couple of pieces of information from my product, my sales orders, and I can sell, see how many of each of these I've sold and what my margins are. And I'm taking data from my work centers and pulling the data on the real duration, those numbers that we entered for what, how much time it actually took. And using Odoo spreadsheets, I'm just doing a little bit of spreadsheet work to come up with my real duration, the number of units per week for this station. So my cut station can produce about three units per week, whereas my weld station can produce only one. And then I can, in fact, uh, so I can see that my bottleneck is, in fact, my weld station. How much I can produce? In this similar analysis, I know that I can produce uh, about, on the bottleneck resource, about one and a third per week. And how can I produce more profitably? In this product analysis, I can quickly see that my margins on my 250 gallon smoker, um, my margins per capacity are much greater. So if I produce um, 100 gallon, I lose a little bit of money, and if I only produce 250 gallons with the same capacity, I make a bit of money. Okay? So this is a quick introduction to how Odoo Manufacturing can very easily organize your manufacturing and, in addition, get you the key information to make better decisions about how to put together your um, orders, when to order new products from vendors, how to schedule your production, and which products are most profitable, all with some out-of-the-box analysis. And if you're interested in learning more, reach out to the sales team at Vista. We'd love to help you organize your manufacturing in Odoo. Thanks a bunch, and I'll see you guys next time.